Welcome to our YouTube video on the intriguing life and legacy of Jean Lafitte. In this content, we will explore the fascinating story of this historical figure who lived during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Lafitte was a French pirate, privateer, and smuggler known for his daring exploits and his role in the early history of the United States. From his mysterious early life to his pirate and privateer activities in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, we'll delve into the captivating tales of Lafitte's adventures. Discover how he established a base on the remote island of Barataria and became a renowned tactician and leader in the world of piracy and privateering. But Lafitte's story doesn't end there. His pivotal role in the Battle of New Orleans during the War of 1812, where he fought alongside American forces, earned him respect and admiration. We'll delve into his contributions to the defense of New Orleans and his later years on Galveston Island, where he continued his illicit activities. We'll also explore the legacy of Jean Lafitte, from his impact on the cultural heritage of Louisiana and the Gulf Coast region to the ongoing debate among historians and scholars about his complex character. Join us as we uncover the enigmatic life of Jean Lafitte, a legendary figure in maritime history and American folklore. So, buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey into the life and times of Jean Lafitte, the pirate, privateer, and hero of the Battle of New Orleans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating historical content. Let's dive in. Jean Lafitte was a historical figure who lived during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. He was a French pirate, privateer, and smuggler who operated primarily in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. Lafitte is often remembered as a colorful and controversial character, known for his daring exploits and his role in the early history of the United States. Early life, Jean Lafitte was born around 1780 in either France or the French colony of Saint-Domingue, now Haiti, and later relocated to New Orleans, Louisiana with his family. Some sources suggest that he was of Sephardic Jewish descent, while others claim he was of French or Spanish heritage. Not much is known about his early life, and there are conflicting accounts of his upbringing, but it is believed that he grew up in a maritime environment and acquired seafaring skills at a young age. Pirate and privateer activities, by the early 19th century, Lafitte had become involved in piracy and privateering in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. He established a base of operations on the remote island of Barataria, located off the coast of Louisiana, which served as a safe haven for pirates and smugglers. From there, Lafitte and his associates launched numerous raids on Spanish and American ships, stealing cargo, valuables, and slaves. He was known for his tactical prowess, charismatic leadership, and ability to elude capture. Lafitte also engaged in privateering, which was essentially state-sanctioned piracy. During the War of 1812 between the United States and Britain, Lafitte and his crew obtained letters of marque from the United States government, which authorized them to capture British ships and seize their goods. Lafitte's privateering activities during the war were controversial, as he sometimes targeted American vessels as well, which led to his falling out of favor with the US government. Role in the Battle of New Orleans One of the most significant events in Lafitte's career was his involvement in the Battle of New Orleans during the War of 1812. In 1814, the British launched an invasion of Louisiana with the aim of capturing New Orleans, a strategically important port city. Lafitte and his crew, who had previously operated as pirates and privateers, offered their services to the United States government in exchange for a pardon for their past crimes. Lafitte and his men played a crucial role in the defense of New Orleans, providing valuable intelligence, artillery, and manpower to General Andrew Jackson's forces.
they constructed fortifications, manned cannons, and fought alongside U.S. troops against the British invaders. Lafitte's knowledge of the local terrain and his experience as a smuggler also proved invaluable in thwarting the British advance. The Battle of New Orleans was a resounding victory for the United States, and Lafitte's contribution to the defense of the city was widely recognized. He was granted a full pardon for his past activities as a pirate and privateer, and his actions during the battle earned him respect and admiration from many Americans. Later years and legacy, after the War of 1812, Lafitte continued his activities as a privateer and smuggler, but his operations declined due to increased naval patrols and a crackdown on piracy. In 1823, he relocated to Galveston Island, off the coast of Texas, where he established a new base of operations. He continued to engage in smuggling and other illegal activities, but his influence and wealth gradually waned. Lafitte's exact fate remains uncertain. Some sources suggest that he died in 1823, while others claim he disappeared and his fate remains unknown. Despite his controversial activities as a pirate and privateer, Lafitte is remembered as a legendary figure in American history. His exploits as a pirate, privateer, and smuggler, as well as his pivotal role in the Battle of New Orleans, have made him a subject of fascination and speculation over the years. Many books, songs, and movies have been inspired by his life, further adding to his enduring legacy. Lafitte's complex character is often a subject of debate among historians and scholars. While he engaged in illegal and sometimes violent activities as a pirate and privateer, he also showed loyalty to the United States during the Battle of New Orleans and was granted a pardon for his past crimes. Some view him as a cunning opportunist, while others see him as a folk hero who fought against oppression and played a key role in American history. In addition to his military and seafaring exploits, Lafitte's legacy also includes his impact on the cultural heritage of Louisiana and the Gulf Coast region. He was known to be a patron of the arts, and his patronage of New Orleans musicians and performers helped shape the distinctive music and folklore of the region, including the development of jazz and Cajun culture. Despite his controversial activities and the mystery surrounding his later years, Jean Lafitte remains a significant figure in maritime history and American folklore. His story continues to captivate the imaginations of people around the world, and his legacy as a daring and enigmatic figure in history persists to this day. We hope you enjoyed learning about the intriguing life of Jean Lafitte, a remarkable historical figure whose exploits continue to capture the imaginations of people to this day. His adventures as a pirate, privateer, and hero of the Battle of New Orleans are truly captivating. We would like to express our sincere gratitude for joining us on this journey to uncover the untold stories of Jean Lafitte. We appreciate your support and engagement with our content. If you haven't already, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more fascinating historical videos. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help us grow and continue to share amazing stories from history. Until next time. Subscribe to our channel for more historical adventures. Thank you once again, and see you in our next video.